Venom 2 is shattering records right now at the box office in this post-apocalyptic hellscape we call life. 90 plus million dollars in a three day weekend. It used to not be like a huge deal. Well, actually, you know what? It kind of was a huge deal always, but now we're living through COVID. So that, that number is incredibly dramatic. <laughs> I don't know why this upsets me. There's nine Fast and the Furious movies. There's been a bundle of Transformers films. People like garbage. Before I get too unhinged, I'd like to inform you, you should subscribe and hit the notification bell. Most of my videos are a little more pleasant than this is going to be. Strap in. I made my way around the internet and looked at what some people were saying. The congratulatory, celebratory people were saying, Hey, this is what you get when a movie's not woke, Hollywood. You get big numbers. When the movie's not woke, fuck you! Movie's not woke? Of course it's not! It doesn't have a goddamn brain cell in its body. It has nothing to say. There's not a message in this film. There's not even an inkling of wokeness because there's not even an inkling of anything. It is absolutely brain dead stupid. There's barely a plot. There's barely a point. You're gonna throw the woke card at me? Shut up. Shut up with that stupid overused term that, that gets played on both sides of the aisle. It makes no sense anymore. There's a variety of races in this film. Woke! There's a poor person in the film that feels like he didn't have a fair shake in life. Woke! There's a woman that's being harassed. Woke! <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. There's always been messages in movies. Sometimes they're a little bit on the nose and eye-rolly. But that doesn't mean we discredit the entire film outright and say, People didn't see it because of wokeness. Let's move on. I'm so sick of this stupid term. The other apologetic argument I heard is, Adam, the movie's just fun. Didn't you have fun watching the movie? No, I didn't have fun watching the movie. That's a subjective statement. Some people think collecting stamps is fun. Some people think shooting a deer and mounting its dead carcass on the wall is fun. I don't. If you liked the movie and had a good time, great. That's, that's just great. But don't come at me and say that the movie's fun. That's your opinion. Okay, I found the movie to be the opposite. Actually, I was numb while watching and my ears were bloodshot by the end because of all the sounds, the music, the loud noises, and just the sheer chaos of trying to decipher the garbage that was being thrown up on the screen because the camera was too zoomed in and because the CG was bouncing off of everything so fast, I couldn't even process what was happening. Spoiler, nothing was happening. Venom 2, let there be carnage. Okay, bring me the carnage. Where was the carnage? And then we have all these articles coming out about how uh, one of the characters is a mutant and how important that is to the future of the franchise. Mutants are back. The X-Men could be involved. God damn it, who cares? This is so stupid. I could write a script right now and put, there's a character that has glowing red eyes and it has robotic sounds when it moves. And then a bunch of fucking articles would come out saying, did this movie just confirm Transformers are part of the universe? God! There are kids in fifth grade writing more competent material than this movie provides. And they would add all those little dumb things in there too. Like, what if he can fly now? Then we can have a Buzzfeed article about why that's low key brilliant. I don't actually know if Buzzfeed's still a thing. Assume it is. I'm gonna share a little secret with you I haven't told many people before, but did you know you can actually have fun watching a film and not have to power down the old brain cell? You can keep that battery up. For instance, my family just rewatched The Addams Family and Addams Family Values, the live action ones, not those abortions that are animated. And those movies are freaking great creative, witty as all hell, but they don't take themselves seriously at the same time. Yet I can look at those movies and say, there's a lot of craft on display here. There's some top tier writing going on. Look at the acting chops on these people. Then I compare that to Venom, let there be garbage. And I just go, what the fuck? There is nothing in this movie that's remotely well done. It looks ugly, it looks atrocious. The acting's barely there. Who is Tom Hardy's character supposed to be? Eddie Brock's a reporter, right? In the first movie, he was portrayed as cool. He had his motorcycle, he had his TV show. How is he a loser? How is he pathetic? But I don't think it's for you either. I think you tell yourself that. I think you are setting the bar way too low. Listen, we as humans, we're willing to harm ourselves. 
We're willing to damage our bodies. We do it all the time. We pulverize ourselves. We eat fast food. That's clearly not good for us. We do extreme sports and activities that can break our brains at any second. You just get hit wrong one time in football and it's lights out. We climb on rooftops to put up lights. We soap, we shampoo with questionable substances. We get in huge fights with our family members about politics and religion when we know that's not gonna do anything good for anyone. And we go to Venom to let there be carnage. So don't come at me and say, Adam, this is a fun movie. You didn't understand it. You're too stuck up your own ass. No, you hate yourself and that's why you like Venom. That's the only reason you hate yourself. Oh yeah, subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I'm not normally this angry and I am being a little bit over the top, just a, just a tiny bit. If you enjoyed this video, I got plenty of rants on the channel along with reviews, poster breakdowns, movie feuds, and any other movie related content. So please think about sticking by. Love to have you, even if you liked Venom.